Good day, Stackers Collector. Silver Wolves here. Thank you for stopping by. So, man, did the United States Postal Service make me sweat this one out. I placed the order for this coin on January 25th, and I finally got it on Wednesday, 22 days later. So, this coin was a pretty penny, and I'll admit, I started panicking a little bit. But, I finally got it in my hands, and I am happy about it. For a shipwreck coin, this thing is in excellent condition. It's, to me, it's, it's beautiful. So... I'm not going to go too much into the history of the shipwreck. I left a link below in the description to a site detailing the excavation of the coins and other artifacts. But in short, the coin was recovered from the SS Republic, which sank in a hurricane in October of 1865, about 100 miles off the coast of Georgia. So over 51,000 U.S. coins and silver coins were recovered from the wreck starting in 2003. So the coins had been sitting on the sea floor for over 138 years. And because many of them were sitting in barrels and stacked on top of each other, the effect of salt water, specifically salt water on silver, wasn't as bad as if they were lying on the open sea floor. And from the looks of it, you know, looking at this coin, I would say this this coin has seen very little circulation before it sank. And you know, other than the grainy salt water, salt water look, I, I, I would give this a AU58 MS60 grade. We'll talk about that in a moment. But to find a Seated Liberty half dollar with this much detail is not easy to come by. With Seated Liberties, anything about F, uh, uh, VF, XF, uh, very fine, extremely fine starts to get a little pricey. Um, what grade would you guys give this? Um, leave it in the comments below. You know, I'm, re I'm really curious to hear your opinion. So you guys might already know that I'm on a quest to get one Morgan silver dollar for every year they were minted. But after looking at this coin for the last three days, I'm really starting to like the Seat of Liberties. And I'm starting to contemplate doing the same thing with these half dollars. You know, to be honest, I, I like the image of the Seat of Liberty a lot more than I do the Morgans. And if I'm going to go forward with that, it, it, it will require a lot more research and money. Yep, money. And I have to, and also I have to make a decision if I'm going to go above very fine condition. Because anything pretty much above that, it's, yeah, the, the prices start to get up there, like well above what you would pay for Morgans in the same grade. Unless you're buying Carson City. I'm kind of brainstorming out loud with you guys here. So the evolution of Silverwolves Newsmatic Coin Collection. So it's Friday. I know there are a lot of other great silver and gold content videos being uploaded today. Salivate Metals will probably be hogging the airwaves later on with the live stream. I had to throw that in there. So keeping it short here. Um, I have another video in the works. Hope you guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Silverwolves.